Philadelphia, we are the realest. It's the city, 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 city. Early morning, got a text message here from person needing counseling or advice. You know, I throw that hat on once in a while. And it's very limited the times I do it. But they reached out to me, uh, somebody I knew that I worked with. And they had a situation going with their significant other. And she went on to say that were her significant other that she found some text messages that he was exchanging with a girl, allegedly. And in that text message just said to her, hey, you're making me drink. And... I guess she got a whiff of that text message and next thing you know, he went ahead and deleted it out of his phone without her knowing. And of course, she saw the text message before and after. So, yeah, um, she went ahead and started doing detective work like a good girl does, right? Once she's been burnt, they're really good about digging through the crates and getting on that PI mode. And she found out that the, the the person that she he was messaging her boyfriend was somebody at work that was married. Okay. And very interesting, you know, she went ahead and approached him about it and said, Hey man, motherfucker, you're you're texting somebody at work and you know, he's gonna go ahead and say, Nah, baby, you, it's a figment of your imagination, you're crazy. Because that's what guys do. Guys go you know, I'm I'm giving away the secrets of the trait. I feel like that magician, you know that show that came on that was uh giving away all the magic tricks that Chris Angel and and all these people in Vegas were doing and he was just doing them right there and he had to wear a mask I mean that's me when it comes to the psychic uh, to the mindset of men and of course he's going to deny it he's going to deny 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter uh, unless the girl's right there he's going to fully deny to the cows come home because the moment he gives in then he knows all his freedom everything is gone like he wants to leave you spinning in the wind and that's the way guys work man guys are not certain guys are not gonna confess to talking to a girl they're not gonna confess they're going to deny 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 all day long oh you saw those text messages oh, it's no big deal that was nothing oh man you're crazy i don't know what you're talking about i mean that's what they're gonna do man she's nobody man uh yeah you know i talked to her a few times but there's there's nothing there going on come on man i love you you know, they're going to just do that shit all the time. And I went ahead and asked her, I asked her, did you try to get a hold of that girl? It's like, yeah, I actually did. And found out she was married and she went ahead and blocked my number. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So that lets you know right there, right? I mean, when you guys denying it, like OJ, and you're trying to reach out to the girl and she's blocking you because she's married. I mean, that's all you need to know right there. I mean, for me, anyway, that's all I need to know. I don't need no concrete proof. Your actions speak to you as far as what you're doing to me. And, I mean, she's just sitting there asking me what I should do. I was like, well, I mean, uh, I mean, she allegedly broke it off with her boyfriend or her significant other, fiance. But I said, you know what? I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about me? I said, I still love him. I'm like, yeah, you still love him. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, if you want to talk to him about it. And he tried to flip it on her. That's the thing about it. This is the magical thing about guys is that he got caught text messaging somebody he shouldn't be text messaging. And then he's flipping it on her like it's her fault for going through his phone, for snooping around and, uh, you know, knowing what's going on in his phone. <laughs> it's like and he, he, so he put it on her like he's mad at her and doesn't want to talk to her, even though she's the one that should be bothered by the fact that he's possibly dealing with somebody else on the side. I said, hey, well, you know, that's guys for you. That's the games guy plays. They, they all play that game. Not all of them. I'm just saying the ones that are out there, if you have that suspicion for a girl, if you know he's hiding his phone, anytime you see anybody hiding their phone or tucking it away, you know that's a problem. I'm not saying that they have to give you full transparency. I think there's some conversations within friends and things like that that, should not be privy to the to partner. So, like, if my, if my friend's talking about his wife and his situation, I don't want my wife knowing about that. That's between me and my friend. I don't think that's none of her business. You know, I'm not one of those guys that believes that everything I know she should know in that regard. As long as it pertains to us, yeah, you know everything. Hey, talking to my buddy, he's going through some issues, and that's that. You don't need to look at the details of all of it. Just out of respect for that guy. 
That's just how I feel. I just won't want to. I'm not one of those gossipers, pillow talkers types. I don't want to be that in a relationship. But, you know, everyone's different. But at the same time, you, you have to, if you're hiding stuff from your phone and you're deleting shit from your phone, then uh, I don't know. You're, you're kind of not in a happy place, right? So, you know, that's what I was telling her. I was like, look, if he's deleting text messages, you know he did it. He's denying it. He's trying to spin it on you. Now he's trying to be angry for you. The girl blocked the number. She's not trying to hear from you. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, you still, you still, yeah, I still love him. Okay, well, it's like I feel like telling the husband. So they could go ahead and, you know, not I'm not the only one with a wrecked house. I'm like, well, I mean, you could do that. You can get a hold of him. I mean, but uh, I, I, I'm all for that shit personally. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> listen, if you want to go ahead and blow up someone's spot, by all means, especially if you're not friends. Just drop a little bug and say, hey, you know, and I told her, if you want to do that, that's fine. Just reach out to the husband and say, hey, I saw that my 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 man and, and your woman were talking via text. I don't know if you've seen something funny, but I just wanted to bring it to attention since I caught it on my end. And that's it. Right. And let that that fucking shit blow up on an its end, you know, because obviously for the girl that blocked the number, wasn't trying to talk with a woman. She's like, look, I'm married. I'm just trying to fuck around. We're just a bunch of miserable people hanging out with one another but we can't be out in the open with it. I mean, I, that's what I'm used to seeing anyway. I'm just used to seeing grown folks settling, and then when they settle, it manifests into kind of finding those fixes on the side. That's uh, you know, and and they're telling me why I'm single. <laughs> but this is a classic scenario of a guy of a relationship where you catch somebody and they're just denying it, and then they're trying to make you look crazy. And you know, the sad thing about it is that. It's easy, and I always tell this to people, it's easy for me to give you a, an edict or a directive about what you should and shouldn't do. I don't do that. You know, I, I, I was asking her, how do you feel about it? How, what do you want to do about it? Because at the end, I, I can't, all of us can give advice and tell people what to do in their lives, but they're the ones that have to live with the decision. So if she has feelings for the guy... And she, you tell her to cut her off. That she has to deal with those feelings. You, your ass goes about your business like no problem. Like I, I just, I fixed a, a nail in the world, and for her, it's the end of the world, and she's having to lick her wounds for a while, and she has to live with the ramifications of that decision. So I, I don't prescribe to telling somebody what to do. I like to just be able to confirm what they're seeing. So in this case, in point, yeah, the guy's playing around. Yeah, I mean, if he's deleting and the girl's blocking numbers, that lets me know right there what I need to know. So, I, I don't, I, if I'm a person that doesn't want that type of shit going on, and she was telling me that he's very possessive and controlling, which is exactly what I always laugh about. It's always the controlling types, the types that are trying to tell you what to wear when you're around too many guys, that they're hoarding you like you're the last piece of meat on earth, and they're not trying to share and they're letting everybody know. I mean, as a woman, I know that feels great. I know that's amazing, right, to be feel protected and wanted. But when you have that type of control, a, a man has that much over you, like hawking you. And he's doing shit like this. He's just playing the game. He's having his cake and eating it, too. Like, he's not trying to have someone come in and do what he's doing to you. That's the traits I see. Whenever I see somebody that's really overkill like that, it, it is a person that wants to control you. And your relationship with them. And then if they have an option to exercise outside of that, they will. Like if you don't have your shit together within that controlling environment, they will say that they're exception to the rule. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because I think people say it's so fixated on getting cheated on. It's like the worst thing on the planet to get cheated on. And it's it, it hurts. It sucks. But... I mean, if you want to ignore the, the signs, if you want to say, well, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z because I don't want to do it, but you expect him to deal with you not doing X, Y, and Z when he told you he wanted that. Well, I mean, it, that's going to manifest itself. You can't ask somebody to suppress it. If, if you're going to ask a person to live a certain lifestyle, which they haven't lived. Like, so, for example, you know, I went out this weekend and I was with a guy that hasn't been out, man. He's just been pure family guy, I have kids and and the guy just felt liberated because, you know, the wife doesn't let him go out and do anything. 
it's like uh, unbelievable you know it's like you know you want to bottle these animals in these spirits and these people because you feel that's the right thing for them to do and then you hold dangling the card of kids or marriage or whatever it is and you're not suppressing the party in that person you're just kind of creating an uh, it's going to manifest itself in a different way and that's one of those deals that i, I just hate when people do it over and over i said look you got to let people you got to let whatever things are happening run its course you can love that person but the moment they try to apply double standards to you like i was telling the girl i mean it sounds bad but i was like hey, listen why don't you just go have your fun on the side go find somebody at work you know go find somebody if it bothers you, you know, if, if, if you're up for it, I mean, it's scandalous like that. But if, if you've ever had an inkling or desire to do something with somebody, go ahead and do it at the office. You know, I mean, just I, I don't know, because you don't know how that person's feeling, because some people will be like, man, you know what? I just want to get mine and still be with. I still want to be with him, but I want to do something so that I feel like I, I say, fuck him right back. You know, I like guess people out there that want to give that partner like a taste of their own medicine because you know how it is with double standards people can dish it but they can't take it so you know all these things were being said and i said Look, at the end you got to do you whatever you can sleep at night with doing or saying you do it and right now the guy didn't want to talk to her whatsoever i guess because she broke it off and then now he's all pissed off playing that oh it's on me role you know like it, it, it's your fault it's your fault we're broken up you're the one that broke up now he's going to use that hall pass to fuck around with that girl and he's gonna hold out he's gonna hold out for a few weeks and he's gonna fuck with that girl he's gonna be like nah i don't want to talk to you because now you you're officially broken up so he's gonna use that as a leeway to go out and, and fuck around because if he gets caught during that period he's gonna be like well i fucked around with her while we went out together when you broke up remember you broke up with me i mean these are the games guys play anytime they can and for any and this is just they just don't want to be the bad guy at the end they're going to play the game so they don't turn out to be the bad guy and the reality is that it's a dysfunctional thing i don't i will never understand it why can't in that relationship just say look if you want to fuck around you fuck around i'm not going to ask you anything you don't ask me anything i'm not saying i'm going to look i'm just saying but something happens let's just not worry about each other let's not look over each other's phone if you have a problem with that terms then we can't be together because obviously you can't be forthcoming about things obviously you have shit to hide so if you want a shit to hide you hide it i hide my shit and we don't go about it and we know you don't have to tell the world we just go about and do our business we we have a relationship like normal and and i don't ask and i don't tell and vice versa and just make sure that that person that you're dealing with doesn't come into our shit all right and that's the way i would play it you know, because I'm not going to go ahead and, and there are some people that can't handle it. And that's fine. You go ahead and start from scratch and do it all over again. And then having your prof profile. I, I hate liars. If you lie to me, I'm done. I, I don't want liars. I don't want liars. Even though everyone's going to be fucking lying to you from the beginning. You know, like you're going to be like, I hate liars. I hate liars. You know, you know, those profiles of those girls that are just tired of playing games. They just want to be with a man. One man like they I like like men are looking to settle down right away. You know, I okay, just again the the mindset is all fucked up with women. It really is. But you know, you're gonna go ahead, and I'm not saying that this is on the guy. By the way, this is not on the girl. This is this one is 100 percent on the guy. I'm just telling you that women don't understand that reality of of that men are lying their ass off from the beginning. Like they're they're just giving you flowers. They're they're taking you out. They're doing all these things to court you as part of the process. Once you have sex with them, then that's when you know where you stand with them. Because then they'll say, okay, that pussy's good, pussy's bomb, our oh, head is okay, I could work with that. Whatever assessment they need to do to, for, after they have sex with you, if they think they're just a terrible kisser, just don't jive with them, they'll be like, okay, they'll back off. Once they have sex with you, they'll, they'll, they'll back off. Now you're the one doing the chasing. In the beginning, it's the guy doing the chasing. Chasing you, courting you, trying to get in your head before getting in bed. You guys get in bed, and then all of a sudden he disappears, he becomes busy. He, he doesn't know what you're talking about. You know, he's just been running around, being busy, and then it's going to leave you scratching your head. Like, what happened? No, he just wanted to test the goods. Now he decided to pace. Now he's going to dictate the pace and the terms on when you get together. That's the sad reality, ladies. So you, you just have to understand that you don't get invested until I, I personally, if I was a girl, I wouldn't get invested with anybody until after the sex. You know, I make sure that they want to have sex, STD tests, condoms, 
whatever. You want to have sex with me? You want me to blow you? STD test, condoms. What, what do you got? Or I want to have sex? I, I, I got to see all of that. I got I to gotta let it be known. Do you have a girlfriend? Are you seeing anybody? Do you know anybody that will come at me? And I, I need to have that on text. You know, I won't say that directly like that, but I would just ask those questions within dialogue and then just screenshot the fuck out of them. And then if a girl does come up to me, I'll be like, listen, girl, like, I'm sorry about that. I got text messages I saved because just in case I was waiting for a problem like this to happen, because I know guys lie and I asked them about it. So my apologies. I didn't mean to knock you. No disrespect to you. You can have him. I'm not going to be with him. He lied to me. So I'm not. This is not my deal. You know, some girls are not going to care. Still going to come at you. But at least you cover your spaces, your bases, and you let the guy kind of lay in his own bed. That's the way you got to do it. That's what I would do if I was a girl. You know, like if I was to do with a guy, I would make him go through the gauntlet. That, I think that's the best way. You want to have sex with me? You, you, you got to go through the gauntlet. You got to go get that STT test. You got to go get condoms. And, and if you're complaining about it, if you don't want me that bad, then no. Then I'm not going to do it with you. Sorry. You know, you know what I'm saying? You got to create some things for guys. Like, okay, you want to take that plunge and you do these things for me. And then if you leave me, that's okay because at the end, well, you know, you're able to do your STD testing. You're clear. I'm good. If nothing happens, nothing happens. We'll, we'll move on. And hopefully you're not dealing with a broke guy so that you're fucking, uh, you know, if, if you have a kid on a one night shot that he's not running away. <laughs> You know, for women, it's a lot of responsibility when it comes to sex. Unfortunately, you have all the power and then you have all the responsibility. So you have to be very careful about it. I think as a woman anyway, I think it, because in cases like this, I mean, look at a guy like this. I mean, guy plays the game. He's fucking around with other women and then he's denying it. It's like, you know, and then the poor girl you know, loves the guy and doesn't know what to do. Hey, you, you got to at the end, you know, you got to make decisions that, are, that you're happy with, but. You got to understand when you guys giving you the signs and they try to play that reverse psychology on you that, you know, that that's who they're going to be and they're never going to change. And if they change, it's on their terms. It's something you can't force on them. That's one thing I'll leave with is that when it comes to the cheating and the men and all these games, you can't change a guy. You have to accept when he's showing you his cards, meaning in this case, point when he shows you that he's all about having fun on the side like that, that that's something you have to just accept for the rest of the situation. Until he changes his patterns of, of, of be, allowing you to see everything, uh, unless he's making all his time for you, whatever it is, uh, until massive changes happen with accessibility and transparency, I would not think he's changed one bit. And that just goes for both sexes. I'm in the ocean, I think I just figured out something important. I'm Scotty Pippen.